Good morning, everybody. We have a lot of things going mm -hmm. on this morning, and they're all amazing because it's about enjoying incredible food and giving back in a huge way. Very excited to have Jose Morales, Firehouse Subs Des Moines District Manager, joining us here today in studio. And you, yeah, yeah, I brought, I brought, the, good brought, I brought the good stuff. I brought the good stuff. The good stuff. First of all, remind everybody, Firehouse Subs. Besides just being an incredible place to get really good food, you guys give back in a huge way. Yes, we do give back to the community. It's part of our mission statement. Um, so tonight what we're doing is we're uh, to thank our guests for the support that they've given us for our Firehouse Public Safety Foundation. We're having from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. tonight. You can come in, dine in, or do takeout, and you're going to get 50% off. So, wow. that's what we're, so that's what we're doing that's tonight. That's a significant savings. Oh, it is. Off. So if you've never been to Firehouse Subs before, this is a great opportunity for you to come in and give us a try. And if you have been to Firehouse Subs before, this is a great opportunity to come get your favorite sandwich, you know, at a great discount as well. So, I love that. You're saying thank you to us. So yes. Thank, thank, thank you. you. Absolutely, yeah. Yes. yeah. So talk about Firehouse Subs real quick, just for people maybe that haven't been there and kind of what sets you apart from some of the other subs. Sure. Shops. So Firehouse Subs was started back in 1994, so it's actually our 25-year anniversary. So we're pretty excited wow. about Lots that. Lots of things to celebrate. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. So we uh, so we started in Jacksonville, Florida. So two brothers, which are the founders, Chris and Robin Sorensen, are the ones that, that did that. So they come from, you know, from decades of uh, family heritage and firefighting and police service. So with that and their passion for uh, food, you know, they were able to create Firehouse House subs. Unbelievable. Oh, but let's right. talk about that first responder connection okay. because mm -hmm. that comes from the owners as well. Right. Yeah. So the so the Pu Firehouse Public Safety Foundation that was started back in 2005. Okay. And that was due to the you know the aftermath of the Hurricane Katrina. So they saw a need for uh, uh, you know for uh, us being able to help uh, first responders with you know with equipment, life saving equipment that they could that they could purchase. So they started the Firehouse Subs Public Safety Foundation, and since since 2005. 40, over $46 million has been uh, wow. granted, which is pretty awesome. That is. And then in the state of Iowa, uh, uh, $500,000 plus has been granted as well. And then here in our community, the Des Moines Metro, uh, it's been $175,000 plus that has been granted as well. Wow. So pretty amazing that stuff. That is amazing. Yeah. And, and, and talk about this check that I have here sitting next to me, Iowa Public Safety Organizations. This is for five. Hundred forty-one thousand dollars, eight hundred, or excuse me, five hundred forty-one thousand eight hundred thirty dollars uh, for life-saving equipment. Talk about this. Yeah, so that so that is, uh, was for the state of Iowa. So we've we've the helped whole state of Iowa. For, the, for the state of Iowa wow. alone. Um, so that is what I like, always tell people is like that's more than what is donated, you know, locally. So you know, you get way more back than what you put in. That's um, over half yeah. a million dollars yeah, that you're giving it, back. It's a significant it's a significant amount. So wow. you know, so it feels good working at at a you know at a place where we give back to the community where it's gonna be able to help potentially save somebody's life. Unbelievable. And tonight you're saying thank you. Yep, and so we be should be thanking you <laughs> for uh, everything you're doing. And we're going to explain and show you how this is making a difference here in a matter of moments. You're thanking us by offering some deliciousness uh, here tonight uh, by offering 50% off. So what are some of the amazing things that people can enjoy if they come out uh, tonight and eat? Uh, so, you know, obviously they're going to be able to get, you know, one of our uh, unique sandwiches. There's many different sandwiches that are pretty popular um, uh, here in the Des Moines Metro. The Smokehouse Beef and Cheddar Brisket, that's that's a really popular sandwich. So if you haven't tried that one, definitely come and try that one out. Um, there's going to be, you know, uh, uh, our crew members are going to be there welcoming you into the restaurant. So it's going to be a fun event for, for everybody that comes in. Yeah, and you know maybe get in, get do something a lot on a bigger scale, and maybe treat your company or your right. Yeah, so so we do group. offer catering as well. So if you um, for you know offices or you know if you're a, a retail you know big box, you know we have the Black Friday stuff coming coming around. So you know you can do some catering as well. Um, even if you're having you know parties at home, you could also uh, come to us for a, any of your catering needs as well. So guest appreciation night tonight at uh, Firehouse Subs. Uh, be sure to uh, get in on that. And we have an example of because this really connects you to the community beautifully, right, yes. and uh, with this helping with the life-saving equipment. And Jackie is over there now to kind of showcase some of the things that you guys will help put right, into place. Yes. Absolutely. When you're talking about the foundation of uh, granting more than $175,000 in life-saving equipment just in the greater Des Moines area, what does that mean? What does that look like? Well, we have a few of our own first responders. First of all, we want to say thank you uh, to you guys here this morning. Lieutenant Chris Clement, Des Moines Fire Department Public Information Officer, and also Lieutenant Brian Davis joining us uh, from the Des Moines Fire Department this morning. What does this money mean when you hear numbers like that coming back into our community, especially when it comes to life-saving equipment? Give us a per perspective of how 
how much this makes a difference. Yeah, yeah I think on this particular piece of equipment, uh, a lot of people would think, you know, for a city the size of Des Moines that maybe $10,000 wouldn't be a lot of money, but when you're talking about a piece of equipment that's infrequently used, it's harder to justify that to the powers that be uh, in the layers of bureaucracy that are trying to use taxpayer dollars wisely. Right. It's, tr it's hard to explain to them that there's a better way of doing things than what we have now. And so for an organization like Firehouse Subs to come in and say, you know what, that's a good cause, we'll support that and pay for it. It makes it very simple for everyone involved and uh, we're really appreciative for that. Okay, so explain some of the equipment, life-saving equipment that you're able to purchase because of being able to, grant to be granted this money. Yeah, exactly. Thanks to Firehouse Subs, uh, a couple years ago we were able to purchase equipment that we didn't have before. So uh, stand, uh, right behind you is, uh, um, it's called the uh, Arizona Vortex. Attached to it is uh, the skyhook winch, which is at the end of the rope, and also the uh, harnesses and helmets that you have your hands on right now. Uh, these types of things are just invaluable to our crews to uh, not only perform our technical rescues um, services that we do um, safely, but also um, creates an element of safety for the, the victims that we're rescuing that we can have a secure way of, of bringing them out of, out of harm's way. In a real life scenario, how would you be using this to save people's lives? Uh, great question. So uh, that, that's the uh, um, great thing about this equipment. It has so many functions. Um, as you kind of see it set up, it could be a tripod, which will go down into a confined space, a tank, a hole in the ground where workers may have gotten injured, children maybe were playing and, 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 and can't get up out of that hole. Right. Um, also, uh, the great thing with this is, is, is it's versatile enough to where we can use it as a high point for repelling off of buildings if we can't find that right anchor point to get to. Um, if we get really creative, uh, we've got an emergency in an elevator shaft, for example, we can set this thing up um, in a hallway uh, against the elevator, safely to lower our responders down, and then safely raise the uh, uh, people that need assistance back up. Wow, again. it sounds like it could be an unending list of ways you could, could manipulate this to really truly help save people's lives. Exactly, and that's what we're finding. Every time we use this thing, we, we find some other cool way that we can um, provide a safer service uh, with the operation of it. But I imagine something like this isn't inexpensive uh, either, but it's something that can be very vital to the department. It is, it, 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 exactly. So uh, without the help of firehouse subs, we wouldn't have had the, the uh, uh, financial backing to uh, make this project happen as quick as it did. So wow. uh, we, we thank them for, for that. And our responders are really appreciative and, and uh, finding good ways to use it for, to help the community. That, that's a pretty amazing statement uh, because of uh, all of you out there enjoying uh, an incredible dinner uh, like you can tonight for Appreciation Night. You are giving back to help make sure equipment like this is happening in our community. So we want to remind you again, uh, Guest Appreciation Night. They're saying thank you to you for coming in and purchasing their subs, uh, which has then been able to be donated to buy incredible equipment like, that, like this. So tonight, 4 p.m. to close, Des Moines locations, they're taking 50% off your dine-in or takeout orders and remember just a reminder by eating at firehouse subs a portion of every purchase supports uh first responders lieutenant chris clement uh, what do you have to say uh, about uh, equipment like this and how it can really truly change people's lives well, you know you've been over the edge of the financial i have yourself. i was no. gonna say this looks very familiar <laughs> yes. uh because when they we were in training mode as you as you mentioned repelling unit this is how they practice to say this is what you're going to be doing only you're going over a, a building next uh but this is the kind of training that is necessary for you guys uh, to make sure you can do your job at the peak of its ability as well. Sure, and so I mean, if you were over, if you were a window washer over the edge of that building downtown Des Moines, instead of being drug over the edge, you can come up over smoothly with this device. And our crews, you know, our guys and gals go out, they don't have to anchor to the building. They take their own anchor point with them and whatever the situation presents, they can adapt to it with this equipment here. So. It's a win-win for everyone, especially um, because of firehouse subs. Uh, absolutely. Okay. If, if I might add in, we call yes. these. Or you want it to uh, jump in? Uh, uh, well, <laughs> actually, we, we jumped you. <laughs> no. no. Um, so we we call these uh, high-risk, low-frequency events. So to have equipment like this available for the, for the things that we don't exactly do every single day as part of our duties, um, it's huge to have. Uh, good equipment to do that as safe as we possibly can. Absolutely. So. Well, gentlemen, <coughs> thank you for what you do every single day. And uh, thank you to Firehouse Subs. And now they want to say thank you. So, uh, Michelle, final <coughs> thoughts with Jose over there. Uh, talk more about how people can learn more by going to the website. That's right, firehousesubs.com. And it can online ordering because this uh, appreciation, I can take it so for dine-in or takeout. It's dine-in or takeout, but you do need to come into the restaurant okay. and uh, place your order. So right now we're not, we're not going to be able to do the the online okay. the online ordering but by coming into the restaurant you're going to get to get the full experience yeah, of you know what it's like to come in, yeah, what it like what it's like to come into a firehouse subs Jose really
really quickly, tell me about the bucket, because I know oh, that yes. is pretty cool too. So with the Firehouse uh, Public Safety Foundation, you can donate by rounding up at the register. We also have a canister at the register where you can drop donations in there. And then uh, we recycle. These are uh, our pickles come in these buckets that you see down there. And it's an empty pickle bucket, and we recycle it by selling it for three dollars, and then that that money also go, gets donated oh. into the into the foundation as well. Wow, Absolutely. very so nice. If you want to up the ante a little bit, there's so many ways to do so uh, while yes. still yes. enjoying an amazing meal. Thank you so thank, much thank for you. being here today work. and everything you're doing for our community. Do you see? Uh, here, I'll move it into the shot. This check, <laughs> big one, huge, given to the entire state by you just eating like you would in any day. So maybe think about where you're eating so you know you can give back at the same. Time. Don't forget about Appreciation Night happening later on tonight. tonight. You can be helping to add to this check to help our first responders get life-saving equipment that they truly need. Can